this is like the nicest packaging I've ever seen. Oh, oh my God. Friends, friends. Get outside. Get that out. We're not gonna do so good in the wilderness. <laughs> $900 rooftop tent versus $3,500 rooftop tent. Does more expensive really mean more better? Let's find out. Big thanks to eBay Motors for sponsoring today's video. We couldn't have asked for a better partner to help us build these awesome trucks. You guys are watching, so you already know, there's no better place to buy or sell your vehicle and parts than eBay Motors. And look at us now, we're riding in style thanks to them. Cold drinks in the ARB Zero fridge freezer, burgers and dogs cooking on the Coleman gas stove, even a sweet Smitty Built Overlander tent, we got it all on eBay. Heads up. Now, what Nolan forgot to mention was they're actually invested in making the auto parts sales process honest, which is why they include a money back guarantee. It doesn't cost you anything and it covers your purchase price plus original shipping on eligible purchases. So no matter what you need, shop with confidence today on eBay Motors by clicking the link in the description below or download the eBay Motors app today. Thanks for getting me this. Absolutely, man. Psh, ah! Open it. What? You're supposed to open it. I, I will. Take a sip, dude. No, <laughs> just take a sip. It's not the right take yet, Job. We bought two nearly identical Toyota Tacomas and we've been building them to be fun daily drivers that you can take literally anywhere. One Tacoma gets all the expensive parts and the other one gets a bunch of the cheap stuff. Then we compare the two to see which components are worth spending your hard earned money on. Some outdoors people are gross and they sleep on the ground. But if you're a real adventurer, you know that the elevated luxury and comfort of a rooftop tent is the only way to camp, baby. That's right, James. That's why we've installed tents on top of our trucks so we can camp wherever we park. Because there's nothing more fun after a day of driving and digging your truck out of stuff than sleeping in a 24 square foot area with your fully grown adult friend. High Truck is getting an iCamper 2.0 top clamshell tent coming in at $3,500. And Low Truck, on the other hand, we have a $900 Smitty built tent. Uh, we got it on sale, usually like 1,200 bucks. Smitty built it himself. Yeah. For you guys keeping score at home, that is a $2,500 difference. High Truck's tent is three and a half times as much as Low Truck's. But is it really three and a half times better? The only one way to find out. Hey, Micah, check a one, two. Back at the shop, we unboxed our tents. Oh, there's a lot more bugs. Ah! Oh my God. They came from your box. And we quickly got to installing them on our bed racks. Okay, there are some instructions. <laughs> Let's come this way, three quarters of an inch. Low Truck's install was a breeze for the most part. Uh, oh, shit. Just gonna drill a couple holes, that way these little pins can hold the length. Nice and strong. High truck had its fair share of snags as well. So it's crooked. Which way does it need to go center-wise? Our bed rack was a bit too beefy for the brackets supplied by iCamper, so we had to do a bit of modifying. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. my god. Our house, man. Oh, I'm a oh. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, it's not fine. I did the same thing Low Team did. All in all, the installs on both trucks was pretty plug and play, but it's hard to get an impression of these tents without actually using them. So we hit the road and drove all the way to the San Juan Mountains here in Colorado, America, because nothing says donut media more than driving 900 miles into the wilderness with a bunch of stuff that you put on a truck yesterday. The main goal of our trip is to test all of the components of the trucks. But over the course of our four nights in the mountains, we were able to get familiar with the ins and outs of both tents. And after familiarizing ourselves with our tents, it's time to give you a little tour. Welcome to the Crawl Daddy Cave. Please don't judge us by our riffraff neighbors. Once you get inside, this baby is plush. As you can see, it's pretty nice in here. The materials are super nice. This is like a very high quality, I think like a wax or oiled canvas. Mm -hmm. The zippers are really nice. If you'll notice the actual poles are covered in rubber. So there's no jangling in the wind. You shake low team's tent, it sounds like a bunch of freaking jingle bells in there. There's obviously thought put into the shell. The foam is amazing. It's kind of like you buy a really nice jacket and only having owned cheap jackets, you're like, oh, this is why things are expensive. Yeah. This is how nice things can get. 
The materials might not be the highest quality, especially compared to high team's tent, but it's all there and it's very well constructed. It's like got the double stitched here. I mean, yes, some of the stitching might be a little bit off or layered up, but nothing's moved and it's nice and sturdy. So that's a big plus for me. The mattress itself is pretty good for like a tent, but I can breaking feel it down. breaking in already. True. Um, I'm not sure I like that very much. We have quite the spacious opening. Also, we can enter the tent from both sides of the truck. High team cannot. I think that's kind of inconvenient. I would say that our airflow in this tent is a lot higher uh, just because there's more openings. And I, I think that's an advantage, you know? You Definitely. can have so much more control over your... Uh, <laughs> It's true, I haven't showered in a while. The windows are two layer, you know, you got your screen door kind of feel here and then like a more uh, waterproof cover, just two layers like that. But I've heard tell that High Team has a more sophisticated window system. One of the coolest features about this tent is the windows. So we have the classic screen and flap, but we also have this really nifty clear uh, plastic. In so, case you're out in the rain, so if you you're in the rain watch it. And you wanna watch the frogs skip around, you can. Because of the fiberglass shell, this being a clamshell tent, we don't have as many windows or entryways as the low tent, which I do not like. <laughs> yeah. I wanna be in nature, I wanna be up getting some breeze. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to add a window to this side. We missed out on some good views, to be honest. Yeah, because... you really have to position your truck towards the views. Yeah, and if the campsite doesn't really work for that, then you just miss out on the views. You miss the sunrise. Slept in this thing a couple nights, and I've been fairly comfortable. I sleep like a baby. Aside from one bad aspect, which is just leveling the whole tent, I mean, parking in a spot that's flat. If you're not, you're, you can feel yourself over time, the sleeping bag sliding down to the edge and you have to like readjust. You have to wake up and readjust. We have a lot more space in here than the low teams tent. Zach and I have been sleeping in this thing for a few days now. And sometimes I forget that he's here. We uh, roughly estimated the size of this thing. It's about 49 square feet, about seven feet by seven feet. Which ain't bad. Yeah, that's like $1,500 a month in LA. As for sleeping space, there's room for two sleeping bags. Aaron sleeps exactly like that, so bumping into him hasn't been a problem. I know that High Team's tent is a lot bigger. I'm just not sure that that much more room is necessary. Uh, but me personally, I've actually not had very good sleep the past couple days. First night in the old Smitty built roof tent. Feel? I feel like <laughs> <sick. laughs> I feel great. Dude. I went to sleep hours after you. <laughs> I feel amazing. I think I got like one hour of sleep last night combined. The rain fly on this gets extremely loud. This material is pulled pretty taut in areas and it acts like a big drum. So like, even though this tiny thin rain flies is flapping against it, it's very loud in here. Yeah, and that might be a thing where high team's materials come into play because it's just less noisy. Yeah. You know? One big inconvenience for having a rooftop tent is that your tent is on the roof. You have to climb in a ladder to get up into it to get to bed. That being said, it does feel like we're in a tree fort right now, which is kind of cool. Yeah. If you have to wake up to go pee, in the middle of the night. You better not miss that ladder. Yeah. <laughs> because this tent is so big, you really do have to mount it up super high on the roof. Some people do mount it low, like Low Team did, on their bed, but it's longer than the bed, so it's gonna hang off about a foot, and you know, we really didn't want to deal with yeah. that. And since we have to put this thing on top, on top, on top of the truck, we have a lot of leverage over the suspension on the truck. So anytime you kind of readjust in the night, the whole thing shakes for about five or six seconds afterwards. It's really kind of annoying. Uh, another downside to uh, our tent, which Low Team also has, is bed access. With all of our recovery gear hanging off of our bed rack, the convenience of having a pickup truck is really lost. Dare I say we may have gone too far. I think we've added a lot of stuff. The truck bed is a lot harder to use. Yeah, it's pretty much have to go through the back. Yeah, the tailgate. It seriously cuts down the convenience and the accessibility of the bed. I mean, if we end up getting stuck on a mountain face and we don't have access to the truck bed, that's an issue to me. So it is awesome that our lower profile tent means that we don't have to climb as high and that we might be getting better gas mileage because it's not blocking the airflow. But that does mean that we can't see out the back of our truck. 
<laughs> we only have the, the side mirrors. Yeah, that's an inconvenience, that's, especially when you're trying to see who's behind you. Yeah. If someone's too close. It's, I, it's very inconvenient in parking lots. One thing that's pretty cool about low tent is this thing takes like 15 minutes max to put onto these racks. You can actually take this thing off and set it up and just get rid of all those inconveniences. You have full access to all your recovery gear for the rack and you still have a pretty nice tent just on the ground. Only four mounting points done. Yeah, it's just as easy to go on as it is take off, so. I don't think high truck can say the same. So the number one reason you go with a rooftop pop-up up and down tent is convenience. You want to get to camp, you want to go to sleep because you're tired. But which one of these sets up faster? Only way to find out is a good old fashioned drag race. We got Jack Job versus Nolan. We're going to do a time attack, prison rules. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Zach Job spent $3,500 on this tent and he needs to set it up faster than Nolan to prove to his wife, Kara Delavine, that it was a good decision or she's gonna leave him. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, he's having trouble. He's tossed the keys, that's. This thing's packed tight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's jammed up. There we go. There you go, 30 seconds. Okay, and the clamshell is open. He's gotta mess with that ladder though. Oh no, Ooh. we're trapped. The floor is bending downwards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta go up one, Jim. Gotta go up one? Gotta go up one. You don't want to break that floor, buddy. It's a very expensive floor. Time consuming. I'm gonna be single soon. <laughs> Minute and 30 seconds in. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. It's not smooth. Oh, wow. He just out the side. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's go, Zach Job. One more on And that time. Oh. All right. 236 and some change. Ooh, that is fast. That's smoking. That's, yeah, that's, that's impressive. Really Dude, that is fast. You get to camp, you're like, I just want to hop in with my honey. Two and a half minutes later, you're in a tent. I think the you cover's really going to, the cover's going to mess us up. <laughs> yeah. I got to go beast mode. Come right, on, so Nolan. If you do this in 845 or less, yeah. then this is not worth it. This, that means this is not three times faster. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Looks like he's in like a uh, strongman competition. He's in the bed. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Yes. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> long straps, long straps. Long straps. That's on the other side. You know, it's these small mistakes <laughs> that might cost yes, Nolan the title. there you go. Nice. Damn, he is on pace. He's definitely working harder. He's running around a lot more than you have to. sweating. You didn't see how much moving I did up in there. <laughs> Oh, All right, off and time. Time. 3.49. Not bad. Really minute, not bad. A minute slower. A minute slower for three and a half times less money. Yeah. And I'm out of breath, too. <laughs> I was, too. I was trying to keep it together, but... <laughs> no one. There's not a lot of oxygen up here, too. Well, we've rolled into camp a couple times after dark, and being able to set this thing up in less than five minutes without rushing has really been amazing. iCamper claims that you can close it with your sleeping bags in it, and we've really tried, and it's just not possible. Yeah. Um, and as far pulling. as yeah, and as far as I understand, uh, that's something that low team can do easily. It was going to be really nice to really you know get our tent popped up in a minute and have it completely done and ready. Mm -hmm. But now it's like oh no, I got to get my sleeping bag. Out. Yeah, it's not ready. ready, which is really just being you know spoiled. But that's why we paid all this dang money. We're supposed to be spoiled. This tent is nice. There's no doubt about that. But for thirty five hundred dollars. I kind of expect a little bit more wow factor. Yeah. You know, like I'm not- Some electronics. Right, I'm not surprised by anything in here other than the map. I think right. the map is really cool. It's but definitely like, just a tent. Maybe some Bluetooth speakers, maybe some built-in lights. Think about a motorized awning. That'd blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for almost $4,000 for what is essentially a little room that goes on top of a car, I want a little pizzazz. Yeah, I want to be a little blown away. And while this is nice. It is nice. No doubt about it. No doubt. There's no going above and beyond. All right, thank you Donut Media for visiting my house. Now, I'm sorry to say, uh, get the hell out. <laughs> so Nolan, home away from home. Does more expensive mean more better? Nope. <laughs> I think this is a case of more expensive does mean more better, but less expensive is pretty freaking good. It's so good. I really like the Smitty built tent. 
It is smaller than your tent, but it does comfortably fit two adults. You could definitely fit a third fully grown adult in there. Wouldn't be as comfy, definitely not, but- it, But it might be a little bit more fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Don't touch me. <laughs> when it's down, I think it looks great. Yeah. I think it's a lot less of a statement. Mm -hmm. Like high truck at this point, I'm a kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm You're a really kind of guy. I think things about myself. You in low truck just look like someone who likes to camp. Yep. Okay, let's talk about pros of the eye camera. Yes. Number one. Big uh, map. Number one, the big map on the ceiling. Hey, James, where's Australia? I could be like, oh, let me just go. Uh. <laughs> Number one pro of the iCamper is ease of setup and how quickly it sets up. We were in our tent in less than a minute. That's no exaggeration. We were out of the elements, and at that point, we could continue to set it up as much or as little as we wanted to. I also want to call attention to the fact that there's a lot of things that you could come into contact with while camping that we didn't deal with. We went camping in the middle of the summer. That's true. Uh, it was very temperate. It was beautiful out the entire time. No rain. I think if you were in a place where you had to deal with more of the elements, i.e. rain or cold, the differences in the two tents might be way more apparent. That's very likely. Although I will say the temperature control that we had in our tent was actually quite impressive. It's like the body heat, our body heat itself. I bet. That we just worked up. I bet, man. Uh, really, uh, <laughs> I got distracted there for a second. Uh, <laughs> when we started this series, the tent was the thing I was looking forward to the least. I think a certain amount of stigma comes with a tent uh, on a, a truck. We've all seen the memes. Mm -hmm. But after having used them... I don't think they're dumb. They are not dumb. No. It is a life changer. It is so much better sleeping on top of your truck than on the ground. It just makes it so much easier to be like, you it know what, really let's go does. camping this weekend. Yeah. We know we're gonna be comfortable. We it's know like we're gonna be ready dry. to go. It's in your garage. The truck's like, hey man, let's like go out. And you're like, you know what truck? We are gonna go yeah. out. Speaking of looks and perception, we did do a contest on our Donut Underground, seeing which tent had more IG speeds. Which one was more grammable? Which one got more likes? Yeah. At this time, we don't have the results yet, but uh, they're right here. Wow, look at that. So either congratulations or in your face. Either thank you or uh, go f yourself. <laughs> All right, Nolan, if uh, you had to spend your own hard earned money, which one would you buy? I'm going with the Smitty Built. Did a dang good job. I think I would go with the Smitty Built as well. If somehow I got a wild hair and was like, I'm gonna drive across Canada mm -hmm. and camp the entire way, I might go with something more expensive like this. But for the weekend warrior, I think the Smitty Built does everything you need it to mm -hmm. and more. For sure. Next week, the dramatic conclusion of High Low Trucks. It, it is dramatic. Let's see next week how a $21,000 Toyota Tacoma compares to a $45,000 <laughs> first gen yeah. Toyota Tacoma. Uh, we go on this like really epic adventure. It's scary. I tested our friendships. So subscribe if you're not already. Click that bell so you do not miss the finale. It's amazing. All right, be kind. I love you. See you next time. Uh, nice. Thank you. Show your support for America's favorite off-roader and America's favorite off-road team with the brand new High Team T-shirt. I think it means the Low Team T-shirt. No, I said America's favorite off-roader and off-road team, High Team. Yeah, Low Team, that's what... High Team. Low Team. Low team. But, no, and people only like you guys ironically. I don't think that's true, James. Dude, this is a classy shirt. It's black, it's sleek. We're like the heroes of the Mighty Ducks, the Hawks. If you'd like a little more lighthearted fare, the low team t-shirt comes in this beautiful light blue color, letting people know that you're a easy going fella or lady. Well, whichever team you want to represent, whether it's high team or the wrong team, they're all available at donutmedia.com for $29.98, which is so much cheaper than $30. So much, so much cheaper, James.